To begin, I deeply analyze popular comic books, movies, and games to determine the ingredients to a good story, as well as what to avoid. I carried a small notepad with me nearly everywhere I went, taking notes on things I observed and jotting down an idea when it came up. I became inspired by unexpected occurrences, and if there's anything I've learned about the creative writing process is that unless written down immediately, a good idea could be fleeting as quickly as it popped up. Grabbing hold of the idea by writing it down in my notepad helped me organize my thoughts concisely, a strategy practiced by the great Quentin Tarantino. A lot of, a lot of things would come to me, and then I'd get out and I would make little notes on that, but not do it, and that would be my work for tomorrow. For a while, Dr. Rhett and I weighed the method of delivery, strongly considering a choose-your-own-adventure to align with which path you preferred. This consisted of a good, evil, or gray option set. However, the gray is what most closely aligned with my goals, and so I began writing the script on that little notepad. Clearly it was not the most conducive instrument for writing a script, so I quickly moved to my iPad and Google Docs, where I effectively created a one-stop document for every thought that popped in my head. I can confidently say that the evolution between the original idea and the final product was as radical as can be, as the fleshing out of ideas between Dr. Rhett and I forced constant change. I learned very quickly that you cannot get married to a particular idea. One must be comfortable with the constant change to avoid running into writer's block. We worked on everything from character development to complete arcs to world building. Once we were satisfied with the general plot outline from start to finish, it was time to write the script, actual dialogue, to bring emotion to these characters. While I did so, I very roughly sketched out several storyboards to depict how I envisioned the final product. It was important to build strong imagery, because when it comes to its combination with dialogue, I'm a big believer in letting the images speak with minimal text to allow the audience's interpretation to fill the gaps. This was crucial to the development of my final script. All that was left was for me to visually conceptualize my written creations and bring them to life. Whether it be anatomy studies, character design, or environment sampling, I was able to take what was in my head for so long and give it a tangible form. I worked for months to illustrate the panels, learning humbly what goes into such a profession. Putting together the book was an accomplishing feeling. However, I was far from done. In the rise of our age of streaming services, binging culture, and flooded markets, the comic book medium has lessened by comparison. So I needed to adapt to such changes while still staying true to this physical form. The emergence of augmented reality technology on behalf of Adobe Aero made it extremely easy for me to achieve my goal. After animating each panel, I was effectively able to make it possible to replace the entire comic book page with its animated form in real time, using any smart device with a camera to do so. No app to download, no hidden catches, this makes the experience easy to digest for broad use, regardless of your technological skill level. By ultimately incorporating cinematic principles to the book format, I'm hoping this will draw interest back to reading tangible books while enjoying a unique interactive experience concurrently. Elements such as a soundtrack and its animation turn this experience multimedia, allowing for a more immersive experience that audiences can enjoy. Mm -hmm.